Power Indicator LED. This LED will illuminate when the server is powered on. Hard Disk Drive Activity LED. This LED will illuminate when the server's hard disk drives are in the active state. USB Port. Connect standard USB 2.0 peripherals here, such as USB keyboard, mouse, external hard drives, etc. Hard Disk Drive Door Lock. The HDD door lock provides additional security of the content and prevents access to inadvertently remove any of the drives. CRU slash DVD access door. Simply open the door to access the CRU ingest port and DVD features. CRU carrier lock. CRU's HDD receiver frame. This is where you can insert the HDD from your content providers to translate the data from the IDE drive to a serial ADA inside the carrier. CRU on and off button. When a drive has been placed into the CRU carrier, keep the power button pressed for one second. The blue CRU power LED will blink a few seconds and then become still blue. HDD activity lights. These lights will illuminate when the hard drives are in an active state. CRU Power LED Indicator will display blue when it is powered up and on. DVD-ROM Tray The DVD-ROM allows an alternative way to ingest mastered content into the server. DVD Tray Eject Button Simply depress this button to either open or close the DVD tray. Main power switch. Use this switch to turn on the server. When you want to turn off the server, it is recommended that you shut down the server from the GUI. Server's hard drives. The DSP2K4 has the ability to hold four hard drives. HDD activity lights. These lights will illuminate when the hard drives are in an active state. Vent filter. This removal filter protects the server's hard drives and should be changed every six months. Redundant dual power supply modules. The Doremi server has dual power supply modules so that in the event that one fails, the server will switch to the other and stay operational, preventing a show to stop. It is recommended that you always use two proper cables when operating the server to prevent a show from stopping in the middle of its play. Power alarm reset button. The power alarm will sound when only one power cord is connected to the server or when the system detects that only one power supply is functioning. To turn off the alarm sound, simply depress this button. Keyboard and mouse PS2 connectors. On the left side of the server's connector panel are two PS2 connectors for the keyboard and mouse. These jacks are used interchangeably. Traditionally, the purple jack is for a keyboard and the green jack is for a PS2 mouse. USB port. Connect standard USB 2.0 peripherals here, such as USB keyboard, mouse, external hard drives, etc. Serial port. This is a standard 9-pin male DB9 serial COM port on the motherboard. VGA out. Connect a standard external VGA monitor here for display of the server's software's graphical user interface. Ethernet 0 and Ethernet 1. The motherboard has two built-in gigabit ethernet connectors. The left one is identified as ETH0, and the right one is identified as ETH1. All Dormy servers are shipped with a default IP address of 192.168.100.50 on the ethernet port labeled ETH1, and DHCP assigned dynamic IP address on the ethernet port labeled ETH0. AES 16 channel digital audio out. The digital audio interface of the Duramy server is provided on a female DB25 connector on the rear panel of the unit. 16 channels of balanced digital audio are provided through this connector. GPIO. The GPIO interface of the Duramy server is provided from a female DVI connector 
on the rear panel of the unit. The GPIO cable included with the Duramie server has one end of the cable as an exposed wire end cable. The GPIO channels are tagged on each wire of the exposed end to facilitate GPIO channel and signal ground identification. The pinouts for this GPIO connector can be obtained by contacting your local technical support representative. HGSDI outputs. These are the Dormi Dolphin Decoder Card BNC Serial Digital Interface Connectors. The top connector is the A output and the bottom is the B output. That concludes our demonstration. Should you need any additional assistance, please contact our local technical support team. Thank you for watching.